A lot of y'all don't know how to hip thrust and it shows. Let's fix that problem right now. So you want to set up and get into position. You want your scapulas to be on the edge of the bench behind you. And you want to keep them together and down. Keep them tucked tight. This will be your platform that you use as a lever. Next, you want to have the bar in the divot in between your hips right here. The ASIS and the AIS for my nerds. Once you can get that locked in, you won't be on any of your organs or on your pubis. It's always critical to protect the goods. Position your feet not too close to your body and not too far away from your body. I suggest you do practice reps without weight so that you know exactly how the movement should feel. When you're in position, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Press down on the bar into your hips and squeeze your glutes in order to thrust up. Once you're up here, recognize this. This is not a lumbar flexion and extension movement. You should not be humping the bar. It is a hip hinge movement. And that is why it is called a hip thrust. So if you want to be able to thrust like me and have phenomenal legs, I suggest you start doing it correctly. Let's go.